Welcome, welcome everyone, it's time for more Starfield! Yes, in the last episode we started everything off. I had a bit of an experience touching a bit of, I suppose, metal or some form of physical thing. I have created my character, obviously. My character looks like, well, this. If we go into this instead... Well, okay, fine, I have the clothing on, so you can't really see. But it's a lady with a bit of tattoo going on, blue hair, hair, etc., etc. I went with a Cyber Runner sort of template, which uh, initially gave me stealth, it gave me theft, and it gave me security. But as you can see here, we can pick up everything if we want to. So... Going forward, I'm sort of looking at, I think, persuasion, possibly scavenging, not gonna lie. Uh, pistol certification, uh, most assuredly, I think. Re research methods, possibly like geology, could be good. And over in tech, I suppose boost pack training is a thing I could take, maybe. We'll see. Uh, I have spotted, by the way, that down in physical at the very bottom, we have concealment, which is intriguing for sure, but that is 11 points before we can get to that one, so... It says, right, 11 more points in physical as well, so yeah, get into concealment, that's uh, that's a lot. Yeah, you have to spend, in order to get to the next level, you actually have to do 3 in physical, not just 3 uh, anywhere. So in order to get down, which other 2 would I, no, it's actually 3 more points in physical, but we can do ranks in these, so that's a good thing to know. Uh, kind of feels like we're gonna get... A lot of levels, don't it? Because we have five different trees. It's not a tree, really. But getting down to the bottom level of all three... Or, sorry, three, five. Um, tricky. Possibly, maybe. Also, exactly... All right. And we have a challenge progress. Yes, that was a thing. So the challenge progress for security is to pick five locks. Sure. So it's, uh, it is lock picking, not uh, hacking, apparently. Uh, in theft, successfully pickpocket five times. We can try that. And let's stealth perform ten sneak attacks. We're going to have to think about that. Uh, what I am going to do is try and pickpocket someone. How difficult is that going to be? Do we have anyone that's sort of in a good position? I'm gonna sort of assume that you might be in a good position. This attack better not be coming out of our No, pain. you're you're in a bad position. You, you might be in a good position. I see, I'm hidden. No. Who's spotting me exactly? Yeah, I'm hidden. It's a pickpocket. 60% chance to get a med pack. Let's try it. Med pack added. Cancel that. Go out. And now, if we go back inside the skills menu, and over to tech, no, not in tech, in social, there we go, one out of five. That was a 60% chance. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We'll see, uh, you see Lynn? Ran how I do pirates, about like that, because it might be that I actually do want to level pickpocketing uh, pick, pick up uh, pick, to get that basically to be easier. We shall see. We are supposed to follow Vasco, which is uh, Barrett's robot. He's going to help us. I'll uh, be in get... the external robotics bay. Yes, you it be appears you that. are the new captain of the frontier. Well, isn't that lovely? The frontier. That is where I'm going to be spending a lot of time, I think. And also, by the way, I mentioned this in the last episode about the um, uh, textures and stuff on the Barrett. Same thing goes for uh, Vasco here. Look at... Captain look Chris, at this. Oh. Protocol Indigo is in effect. And I have picked a name that you can say. I did not... Well, actually, I might have I might, might have read about that. Yes, you actually can say my name. That's lovely. I picked a good name then. Uh, but yeah, uh, what I wanted to look at was uh, just the textures. Captain the, uh, Chris, I'll guide you yes, as yes, best yes. I can. Um, so basically, yes, just uh, how it looks is just really cool. It's worn down, the paint is shipped, etc., etc. All lovely. All right then, let's enter the ship. And I think... Captain Chris... I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. 
That sounds good. Do that. Uh, maybe I should eat some. I have actually. Can I, can't I just eat immediately? Well, that's a bit of a shame. You can't pick up plates, actually. I mentioned in the last episode that there might be fewer items that we can pick up in this game as compared to, let's say, Fallout 4 and Skyrim. But, uh, well, we can't pick up plates. I'm not going to pick up a plate. Container of cereal. Let's get that. Let's get some heal items. Why don't we? A uh, digipick was worth a little bit. An impact. I'm going to have to start dropping things very, very soon. Unless I can find a, um, a shop at some point. A door to the lavatory. A toilet where I can sit if I want to. A soap dispenser, lovely. Now, when I am in here, surely I don't need, uh, not missions, inventory. Surely I don't need, da, 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 da. I don't need, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, but, 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 but where is, yes. How do I get to just, uh... is this, so basically, they have a section for spacesuits specifically. I done fine. So if I remove that now, surely I'm fine, right? Yes. So this is what I look like. Now you can get this. Bloody hell. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There we go. Camera caught up. So I'm, I went uh, for like a sort of slightly punky look. I suppose it's a little bit similar to the character that I played in Cyberpunk 2077. Just show, shows you that uh, that's uh, a thing that I enjoy. Let's just say. All right then, uh, we have more... Uh, we have a snack. Didn't need to take up that. I wanted to take up that. Uh, all right then, we also have a water... I'm not gonna pick up everything, but I'm gonna pick up a few um, healing items. I did lose a bit of health in the fight in the end. What do we have? Strapped on stuff. We have some vacuum tape. I'll take that. A broken constellation element. That doesn't sound good. It even says don't use. I should probably not use that then. We have a med pack. I'm taking that. A soil box. Worth a lot. Feels like that is something we can use. Uh, there's also nightwear. Lovely. Don't think I necessarily need that. A cube of some description. An old earth baseball. But I'm gonna pick that up. That, that was worth a lot. We'll sell that along the line. Uh, I did pick up the traits, um, both uh, Dream Home and Kids stuff, which both means that I have to pay money uh, for partly my home and also my parents. So I need a lot of stuff to sell, <laughs> which is why I'm picking up a lot of things. Uh, where am I on? Uh, where am I on inventory right now? One of three out of one thirty-five mass. All right then. The good thing about the, the payment to my parents is that it is a percentage, so it doesn't really matter how much I have. In fact, the more I have, the more I pay. Barrett, personal slate. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, Said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery-class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Well, all right, that uh, sounds like it could be a problem for me when I show up at Constellation and say, Hey, this is my ship. And they are going to say, no, it's actually our ship. Give it back. Uh, what I kind of do love about this game as well right now, I can see, is that the, the ship is very realistic looking, isn't it? Like with padding, etc., etc., with fairly space-efficient space stuff. It's not like, you know, fancy ships. It's very, well, realistic. Which I enjoy very, very much. Much more than other alternatives. All right, research! How does this work? The research lab allows you to discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw materials extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufactured components that can be made into an industrial workbench. So right now, do I have anything that I can do? Where does it say... Okay, so what, what are these things? Performance enhancement. 
doctor is that like it looks like an inhaler of some sort right uh, medical treatment and over in food stuff old earth cuisine um required materials down there so i have bread apparently but not red meat or cheese well we have beverage deployment so okay well i don't I do have inventory one bread. Okay, never mind. We might be able to pick up some of this uh, around the ship, possibly. Uh, we have some stuff blocked. We need engineering, outpost engineering, even pathology, zoology, etc., etc. We have some stuff here, but not all of it. So there's a bunch of stuff that we are going to need before we can do any sort of research, as well as getting some uh, proper perks etc etc or skills as they're called uh, so yeah we are lacking a lot of materials etc etc for any of this so we're gonna get back to that eventually this is not relevant right now is this the entire ship can I uh, docking bridge access we can't get there apparently that's just out all right then fine let's not dilly dally too much here let's open the hatch Stay back. Let's close the hatch. Let's be clever about this. All right, then. All right, then. All right, then. What was your name again? My guy? Victor? Something like that? Yeah, I'm seeing if I want to see it in that, but no, no, no. We're going to pilot the damn thing. And this lo it looks very, very cool. Very, very cool indeed. All right, then. Let's see what we can do here. Apparently, I do know how to the fly rest. this. The rest is up to you. Vasco, that's what he is called. So exit ship, uh, take off, get up. Sure. So hold space. Let's take off. Looking very spiffy. Right then, so there's uh, a lot of stuff to learn here. I suppose this is going to be fairly similar to No Man's Sky. Uh, hold left alt to and use WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. You can skip uh, the ship tutorial by powering up all systems, including the grab drive. So uh, left alt. Okay. Oh bloody hell! What what or what or what am I doing? <laughs> what, what left alt did nothing. Each system on a oh, ship okay. requires power. Oh, okay, okay, Allocating okay. power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. And which one is that? Uh, so yes, uh, at the bottom a left a there. Ship's engine has a hell? sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Aha, uh -huh. I did that already. That's just with the WASD. Nothing, nothing at all. Let's go up and down. Aha, uh -huh. left shift to boost. We're gonna get to that. I wanted to say at the bottom left you have gauges. If I just press uh, WASD here, it's just speed up and speed Let's down turn as our well as. To the yes, Jesus. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Uh, yes, indeed, I can see that at the very bottom right. Cool. What else do you want to tell me? Or can I talk now, please? You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a Crimson Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Well, apparently we have to do this. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. So this will be this weapon, right? I think. If 
you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. So that would be good, I think, what I'm doing. There we go. I did it! Congratulations on surviving your first Starship Assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Okay. We'll fly close. Press E to loot. Uh, okay. There we go. Pick up, pick up. Thank you. So we got some iridium. Lovely. Then I'm gonna assume that was uh, that was it as far as we can loot anything, right? Yes. Seems like it. Seems like none of this is actually. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, oh, Captain. Oh bloody hell! They don't want to do that. Okay. Press E to cycle between targets. Sure. So now we have the shields down. We go over to this gun. There seem to be. Uh, some level of auto targeting thing. This is good. Seems like I'm also taking. Well, actually, that seems to almost do more damage. So, why am I not just Grab doing this? There not we go. Like we're running anyway. That's cool. Oh crap, hello. It's like this uh, weapon, the one that I'm using, left mouse button, the laser, is actually just better. And whatever the other weapon is, I suppose. Okay, so it does uh, sort of uh, overheat to use this one. But otherwise, uh, just go for the laser, to be honest. How did I shoot. Crab drives out! How did I shoot that uh, homing missile? Not the entirely sure. The fleet hostility has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. I didn't actually mean to uh, <laughs> to exit my seat there. Um, all right then. So they want to keep attacking me. They say we now have the ship. That is what was going on down there. And we have our first target. So if we go out, we want to go to Crete apparently. I'm not 100% sure what he was saying there, but something something Crete research lab. Set course for that. Cool. And. Exit here to get back to ship. We still have some. Didn't I get uh, some stuff from the other one that I shot down? I think I shot it down over here as well, didn't I? Uh, not so. Oh, crap. The ship's a bit bigger than what it feels like, damn it. <laughs> Alright then. So we are going over here. So if I now boost. Okay, that didn't do much, so <laughs> how do we get over there? Did the game say? So, okay, if no one's saying anything, let's talk about the lower left there. So yes indeed, if I press WASD, it's just um, left and right, or is it yaw left and right? I don't know. Uh, up and down speed, but if I hold uh, ALT, I can switch between systems. Laser, can't go higher. Bal, whatever that is. Ah, uh, the ballistics, yes. So how does this work then? Oh, what the, oh, it's a bit like uh, FTL. I see that it's actually exactly like like FTL. That's kind of nifty. At the bottom, we have how many? Well, power I have, so 14 power, and I can and I can allocate that as I wish. As I didn't necessarily enjoy the ballistics, I'm just gonna put it all into laser. So now I have a lot of laser. I don't know if that means that I do more damage, possibly. MSL. Is that the missile? That's the missile. Okay, at the top there, that's the missile. Cool. Uh, and then engines get more power for those. 
grab a drive. Oh, right, we need to go for the grab a drive. That's what's going on. So let's actually lower lasers down to three and we'll increase grab a drive. Do we need to increase that to the full? It kind of feels like we do. Uh, so if we lower that and that, is that enough to get it to full? So now I have that. What do I do with that? I can still boost, but it doesn't do much. Alright, game. Any any more tips, Vasco? Any more tips? Can I can I fast travel? <laughs> What's going on exactly? I'm at full speed. Grab drive is maxed out. Boost laser ballistic missile. Okay, well how do I How do I I mean this is sure Can I just like move here? Not just the set course, but actually Set course, yes. But no, I wanna travel there. Ooh, X, travel. Yes, let's try that one on the right there. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. There we go. So that's uh, a way to do it. Um, alright. I don't need to open the star map right now. How do I... Do I need to go probably in here now? The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment. Let's just scan the planet for resources and helps you discover key land landing sites. Uh, rotate the planet until the create research lab my map icon is in view. Let's select the map icon to land there. Cool. So let's do a scan before we do anything. There's how the planet is looking. So what we have is a bunch of iron. That's kind of nifty. I do need that. Um, so we have a bit of lead. We have argon over here. H2O's. Well, actually, yeah, that is that is argon and that is water. Uh, that is lead. So a bunch of iron and lead on this planet. And then just the regular other stuff. All right, then. Let's uh, head down to the Creed Research Base and see what's up over there. All right, then. So we have landed. There's... Did they see that I was uh, coming down? Because they just left. Uh, all right, then. One thing that we should obviously do is put our helmet back on. And let's uh, get the helmet on. There we go. Lovely. Also, I should... What was this thing? Boom, pop, sherry, restore health and also O2 recovery. Well, that's kind of nice. Uh, I'm just going to eat a bunch of these. Uh, where can I... Okay, so right click and left click it does both the same thing how am i looking now i'm looking better i mean a little bit better i'm gonna say that's fine all right then uh, let's get uh, down to uh, planet level and yes indeed vasco is joining us as a companion on this occasion so now we are on our first planet which is lovely we don't well we do have a uh, uh, a map and there's uh, a whole bunch of stuff on this planet which is cool so we have the frontier which is where we are we have have the research lab we also have unknown 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 we have to learn what these things are it does extend a little bit but it definitely feels like it's uh, more along the lines of the outer worlds so not just super free to walk across the entire planet like in um, no man's sky and also if I, it, we can clearly go here. There is no icons. Does that mean that there is any reason to go there? Not a hundred percent sure. But uh, something, something ship, something like a viewpoint or just a fancy place, ruins. Maybe it's a bit Stonehenge. I suppose we'll find out. But all right, then we'll start with our immediate. Goal. According to the scanners, the amendment What are you saying? Is in this direction. I mean I know I have I have markers. Oh hello. There are animals. Hello animals. Are you the mud crabs of this game? 
You're not attacking me outright, so possibly not. And uh, can I do anything with anything? Not a hundred percent sure. It's not the most fun planet, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, but again, it definitely looks good. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. I do have a scanner. It's an F, just like No Man's Sky, if I'm not incorrect. Uh, scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data for the planet. Complete a survey data can be sold for credits. Very normal sky. Uh, the scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. Alright then, so we scan you with me. Okay. Doesn't work. Or have I already scanned you? No, I haven't scanned you. Why? Okay. Am I like too far away? Might be too far away, but I wanna. Yeah, here we go. Some lead. Uh, cool. Are you? You're sort of coming for me. Uh, we must defeat them. Must we? Can also just not, but sure. Uh, well, he's going for it. Good job. Uh, it doesn't need to be a whole lot else we could. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna stealth a bit. Let him do, do a bit of work. Well, actually, I seem to be doing a lot of damage. Remaining. That's good. Also, I should be doing some stealth attacks. So if I'm hidden, where are those little guys? Because I'm going to probably be playing a fairly stealthy character, yes. Also, we do get arrows to where we could go. So that's lovely as well. Wow, that that boost from crouching was really aggressive. Uh, hopefully, leveling up stealth and stuff like that will increase our uh, crouching speed because it's a bit slow. Let's uh, do that one. A bit of helium. How do I? Is that you making noise? I hope it was. How do I get you, so to speak? Uh, that's some silver. I'm not 100% sure what's going on here when I'm clicking this. Not 100% sure. Uh, we have some stuff over here too. Let's be surveying stuff as much as possible, yes. So, I definitely saw something, right? Didn't I? Thought I saw something uh, to scan, that is. Alright, let's remain hidden. Or not. Let's just run. <laughs> uh, here's some stuff. It does come up. So that's cool. That's a bunch of iron and uh, iron and silver. Same as we found before. There's some lead over there. Sure. Let's uh, put our focus on this thing. Look, research lab. Yes. Is that a thing? I can... No, these are the things. More iron. Lead, etc., etc. Can't scan that one. Dust root. Let's scan the dust root. Go. What do you mean 13% scan? Does that mean that I have to scan multiples of them to get the full, the full gist? Can I scan you? Robotics. Well, I'm not good with robotics, so don't do that. Okay, we're gonna have to find more of you. About six more, I think. Possibly a few more, maybe. Uh, Alright then, I don't immediately see anyone. Which I am gonna shock down as something good, but let's now start crouching. What is going on over there? Just a thing that's being weird, it's just a thing being weird. Alright then, well, it is a Bethesda title after all. Would have hoped that they would have been uh, <laughs> able to do it better, but no, apparently not. All right, then. That's all fine. Let's just poke around. I am running like an idiot because it feels like there's no one here, really. Uh, fine, I'll pick that up. <laughs> a fire extinguisher apparently is worth a bit, so let's pick that up. Uh, other than that, can't really find much over here. All right, then. Let's make our way inside. It's gonna be fun to play this game for 
many, many weeks, I can tell you already. Before we go in, though, there's more stuff. You have a rover, sort of. Uh, you have rolls of something, like synthetic materials, which I apparently I am uninterested in. Vacuum tape, though. We know we're gonna need those. How much? Oh, I can jump high in this world. Lovely. If I can do with this a switch, that will presumably yes, indeed, close up. Well, we don't need that. I mean, I could once I get in, but no. Let's just be sneaky. Let's be sneaky, like see what we can find. A whole bunch of stuff to. Okay, I'm not gonna pick up like everything now. I feel like I I have picked up a whole bunch of stuff, so let's be a little bit chill here. I wouldn't mind finding a bit of ammo for the gun, because I used up quite a lot in that uh, fight back on the other moon. So, yeah, a few more of that would be a tape measure. No, we don't need a tape measure. Or a succulent. Uh, don't need that right now. Some notebooks in containers. A digipick. Is that what we use for lockpicking? It might very well be, you know. And I need to lockpick some stuff in order to get the challenge done. We get some med packs and heart plus. Don't know what that means. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. I mean, not so secret, because we found it super easy. And also, I'm not 100% sure what I think about the fact that there's loading zones everywhere. I mean, games today generally don't have loading screens, at least not on, of this caliber. So I'm not 100% sure what I think about that. Uh, Alright, an ah, desktop sand garden. That's pretty nifty. Uh, nothing to loot. That say something. Bad people, bad jokes. Ooh, I want to read that. Why did a chicken cross the road? Huh? What's a chicken? Future joke, I suppose. Knock, knock. Who's there? Planet. Planet who? If I throw a party, will you help me? Planet. Ha <laughs> ha. Ecliptic mercenary says to a woman, I've been hired to kill you and I always get the job done. Woman says, can we talk about this, son? So, is that a jab at ecliptic? That would be a group of mercenaries who apparently, in in some ways, are mother effers. Haha. <laughs> uh, how do you keep in keep an idiot in suspense? Screw you. How do you get a free star collective hick out of a tree? Wave. Lewis Lupper's Bad People, Bad Jokes Volume 2 is the follow-up to his original work and, just like his predece predecessor, has become a cult hit. Yeah, I kind of like that. Ooh, there's... Not more, but uh, all right, we have a board game. A board game, obviously, we're taking those. Yes, um, <laughs> bloody hell, I'm not doing a lot of uh, stuff apart from actually doing what I'm supposed to do. I think uh, tissues, a gold pyramid statue, also worth a bit. The gravity paradigm, truth is, what our scientists didn't know back then could fill volumes. The focus, of course, was on wormholes, and not only creating but maintaining a stable and sustainable Einstein Rosen bridge. That was the goal, the end point. No one had even considered that maybe that was just the beginning. When we look at grav drive technology today, and the ease at which we fold space and travel light years in seconds, it's sometimes easy to forget the impossibility of what we achieved. Dr. Josephine Inadu's seminal work continues for another 535 pages and has become the most highly respected text on grav drives, a grav jumping ever written. Grav drive, yes indeed, that is what we're using to get around. By the way, I don't necessarily want that. A locker. Doesn't seem to... Okay, you know what? Yes, I do. <laughs> Empty chunks packaging. We don't need that. A notebook, no. Cube, thermos, Omega the last days. Sure. Oh, I'm not going to read that, though. That, that's a whole bunch of stuff. So, Camille Fl Flammarion's 1894 work Omega, The Last Days of the World, which a comet is set to collide with the Earth in the 25th century, and people must come to terms with the end of the world and what actually means. Is that an actual book? Intriguing. That sounds like a fun one. Uh, all right, then. 
that's that. Nothing in there. I mean, we're not finding a whole lot. And in fact, I would like to get to a place where there is a merchant because I have stuff to sell, damn it. We'll see how long that takes. I see something. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. By the way, how do I... How do I change... I didn't want to go there. How do I actually change weapons? I think I need to understand that. So I have weapons. I have a maelstrom. Ooh, well, that's lovely. Um, do I know how much ammo I have for that? Okay, well, I have a rescue axe, which I presumably can use against you. There we go. There we go. You're dead. Giant. So you just spawn out of that... Whatever that is. A toxin. Uh, this I think is the component. Crafting. Cool. A uh, fridge bottom. Um, but yeah, where is my... Where is my, like... Action wheel. Do I not have an action wheel? I must have an action wheel. Uh, hopefully we're not going to be in such a big trouble. I'm going to see how much ammo I have for this one. How much ammo do I have? Quite a lot of ammo. You know what? I'll take that one. Uh, cool, cool, cool. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll figure out how to sort of switch between weapons. Because apparently uh, up and down is uh, view. Which view you have, which is completely pointless, and I don't want that. So we'll change that at some point. A molecule extractor. Lovely. Let's go back to hidden. And let's turn flashlight off. Okay. I suppose... I mean, how... Yeah, it says I'm hidden, but the, the, the green thing, I assume, is like... A friendly is seeing you, or something of this similar thing. Another statue, lovely. Soil box, succulent, stuff like that. I'm just basically now learning what can I expect to find around the place, uh, or places, uh, so that I know what is reasonable to pick up and what isn't. Uh, that's some ammo. A crimping tool, don't know if I need that. There's some sample bottles, don't apparently need those. There is cred stick, 204 credits, that's a lot actually. We get some digipix, more generic sample, genetic sample bottles, which I apparently, again, am not interested in. We have first aid, okay. Boom, cup, stuff. Okay, so there are a bunch of things that we can pick up. Never mind, the game is very much like the other games in that regard. Okay, we're not getting some orange. Does that mean that we have actual enemies? Okay, screen. I'm not seeing anyone, but I am getting the orange tint on the thing. Biohazard, we're not interested in that. Ratchet, I'm not gonna start picking up these things now. No, that's okay. I mean, you are very much cramping my style, I'm not gonna lie. We have a dead person here. Someone who has been dead either for a long time or has suffered some sort of a painful thing to your face. If you know what I mean. Um, Alright then. All right then. No sign of people. And no, I can't hear anything either. It's a lot of these genetic samples. Don't know what the significance Come on, get out of the way. I'm um, accept accepting his help right now as we are in the early stages of the game. Once I become a bit stronger myself, I absolutely... Well, I say absolutely, I probably will be uh, going at it myself, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, well, we're making our way. Oh, hello. Again, a bit orangey. Still no people, though. Let's open the door. Peek out. Is that you? He's making a lot of noises that I do... Oh. Hello. Yeah, 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 we, we 
got it. All right, so first confirmation that there are people here. Getting some drink packs, sparkling oh, water. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Vasco, <laughs> you're really not making it easy for me to be stealthy. You're really not making it easy for me to be stealthy. And I'm not gonna be able to get a lot of stealth attacks, I don't think. You're dead. I am in danger. Do I remain in danger? Possibly. Full food spiced worms. Mmm. Lovely. Okay, some. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I actually was about to be out of combat. Or out of danger. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Uh, let's just move forward. Yeah, I can see you in there. You just gonna... give up. Well, Vasco is going for it, so all right then. Okay. Uh, where are you? I... God damn it! <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we are. Run let's do uh, regular shots. Oh. We have another one. Oh crap. Take it fire. Yeah, you are. Stealth a bit. I'm keeping my head down. I am aiming for your center of mass. Well that's good. That's where you want to aim. You seem to be very bad at it though, Vasco. Oh, there he is. Got a few hits in. You know what? Screw it. Hello. Pin down. Oh what wow, bloody hell. <laughs> All right then. Uh, press I. You say. Well, that's inventory. I I I know, I know about inventory. So let's just do. Ah, there's my actual health. So use a bunch of med packs. There we go. Woo! Don't don't charge this forward. When you, when you, <laughs> ah wow. All right. <laughs> yeah, don't charge forward when you actually have to um, <clears throat> reload. Bad form. Really, really bad form. Uh, Alright then, I didn't loot you. So those are those. O2 is consuming exertion. Yes, 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 I know about that. That's all fine. Let's just make sure that we don't miss anything. And obviously, yes, going into the inventory. That is um, pausing the game, apparently, which is good to know. We have the lavatory. Nothing too fun in here. Soap dispenser, don't need that. We have a vending machine. Don't think I need a bo boom pop orange on this occasion. That's fine. Ooh. Environmentally friendly uh, trash collection. Lovely. Gotta love to see that in the future. Uh, Alright then. We still haven't found like the leader. So we're still looking for that. I think that the markers are a bit aggressive actually. That is very aggressive. By the way, did I get uh, did I get that uh, thing on my jig? I don't think it was here. Sneak attack. No, I did not get a sneak attack in on that one. All right then, we're gonna have to try that again then. The terror morph is loose. I repeat, the terror morph is loose. Do not engage. If you can reach. <laughs> Classic United Colonies. Put something in a cave until it kills you. <laughs> One more time. Terramorph. I don't think I like the sound of a terramorph. Let's hope that I don't have to deal with it, that. Uh, Alright then, we have a computer. Hello, Starware Operating Systems. Oh, bloody hell, there's a lot of stuff here. From uh, Hayden Wynn, the guy we just heard. I can't believe it, I got the posting. The United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through at mast, but it's long overdue. And I get to be a part of it from the ground up. My official title will be Associate Xenobiology Technician, and I ship out in three years. Days. Amanda's upset, but I assured her I'll have plenty of leave and I will be back in New Atlantis all the time. I'm still not sure where I'm going, definitely somewhere in the United Colonies space, 
Guess I'll find out when I get there. No, you did not. You got up in the free... Free star? Is that what it was called? Um, is this now in order? Yes, I think it is. We got our first extraterrestrial candidate today. What appeared to be an alien form of Lu... Lu... Kosh Venusta? I have no idea. Essentially a giant spider. Michelson in full protective gear attempted to attach the neural control interface. Our security detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon. We had no choice but to put down the creature. A minor setback. None of us expected success on the first try. I heard Dr. Paulson tell the others that a detachment of United Colonies Marines is scheduled to deliver another creature next Thursday. And uh, I'm not sure how they manage it, but the UC Marines actually managed to bring us an Ashta. It's not that the Ashta is a terrifying beast, a natural predator, those are both exceptional and wonderful qualities and essential to the work we're doing here. It's that the Ashta is native to the planet Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Aquila, home to Aquila City, capital of the Free Star Collective. Yes, Free Star Collective, there we go. Leave it to a group of ground pounders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard. Now, it does make the question Have Free Star Collective scientists managed to weaponize their greatest natural predator? If so, our timetable just got accelerated. So basically, we have United Colonies and we have Free Star Collective. Those are at least two of the factors that we have to keep track of. And we have a trial failure. Any fears that our Free Star Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashta have been completely dispelled. After Michelson, uh, after the Michelson debacle, the determined, we determined that the NCI should only be attached under full sedation, so that wasn't an issue. The problem started immediately afterward. The Ashta proved incredibly resistant to synchronization, and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr. Shin's, arms, uh, Shin's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Ashta simply can't be controlled. If not by us, then certainly not by the Free Star Collective. Dr. Paulson has been in touch with the Colonel, Colonel Kasarov. Uh, looks like the Marines will have another species collected and dropped up by this time next week. We continue, another creature, another failure. No fault of the UC ground powders. We wanted a predator and they delivered. These things were so alien, Paulson had a difficult time deciding on a designation. Opted for Reptans Venom. Shame we couldn't properly sink the NCI. These things would have been spectacular. Especially the poison. Uh, is this actually... Yes, it's still in order. So new specimens. Marines dropped another few specimens off this morning. Totally unscheduled. Best way to describe them, they're arthropods, the alien equivalent of Humarus gamarus, basically giant space lobsters. Very promising giant space lobsters. I'm not entirely sure where the UC grunts found these particular test subjects, some godforsaken backwater rock I imagine. After the third or fourth unsuccessful trial, I stopped asking. None of the, those earlier species could be controlled with any re reliability. As noted in my earlier logs, their natural aggressiveness made them effective weapons, but, bullet is less than, but a bullet is less than useless if the gun keeps turning itself on the shooter. But these new creatures possesses, uh, possess a perfect natural disposition, non-aggressive, even docile, yet capable of defending themselves with deadly efficiency when threatened. And when they do go on the attack, they're terrifying. So we'll see. And then relocation. We're moving, packing up shop and transitioning the entire operation. It's happened so fast, my head is spinning. The work on the anthropods has been so successful, we're actually relocating to their homeworld. We'll have an unlimited supply of creatures of the Zeno Warfare Division. I've been named Senior, senior Xenobiologist. This means I'll be running the entire facility. My first instinct was to tell Amanda I'm still not used to her not being there. I'll give Michael some credit. The guy really went to bat for me. He le let the masked brass know that I was my that it was my work tuning the neural control interface that was instrumental in controlling the arthropod. I guess Paulson is being forced to retire good riddance. We also know that Wynn most likely is dead because of that little uh, voice thing of a jig that we just heard. Caseless shotgun shells. Interesting. So are we doing a New Vegas thing there? Possibly. Solar Frontiers game, we're picking up all of those. Can't pick up the posters, that's a bit sad. Uh, let's just uh, see if there's anything to grab here. Some form of multi pack, that seemed important, possibly. A deck of cards, does not seem. Playing card, King of Hearts. Bloody hell, okay, we can pick up very specific things here. 
Eggman the Desk Assistant. That's fun. Uh, Starlocked board game. Let's pick up all of those as we make our way to the next set of pirates. Anything fun here? Pencil case? No. It's a lot of containers you can open, but there's not a whole lot of stuff in them. Meeting at 645. Random stuff. This desktop sphere toy. More pyramids. I have a lot of pyramids. Why are pyramids so important in this world? Uh, let's not pick up more table games, by the way. We have Dartborn. Lovely. Humidifier. It is work foolish to carry so many items on your own. Well, I suppose I can drop some things. Uh, miscellaneous stuff I can drop. Can I sort by value? I think I am sorting by... No, I'm not sorting by value. I was sorting at value. There we go. So basically, most valuable, good to keep. Artifact, obviously we're not dropping that, but we can start dropping these. Uh, not the vacuum tape, obviously. Utility knife, hammer... Not digipix. I'm, I assume that this is what we're using to uh, hack stuff. Crimping tool, hydraulic clamp, impact driver. Okay, so don't pick up impact driver. Those are not uh, necessary. Other than that, I'm fine for now. So unless you jump a whole bunch of stuff, and let's not pick up anything that's uh, worth below um, worth below 100 because that's not necessary uh right anything in the bed nope that sounds kind of cool you have a little bit of a ceiling going on lovely also a ball uh right so that's that room done bloody hell it's taking me very long here but as i said currently i'm just trying to sort of gauge how this game works so hopefully i'm gonna be a little bit faster later on are you it sounded like you weren't here. Isn't it? Well, maybe you're further along then. Yes. Uh, right. Let's just keep on looking. Shunks Shoko. Sound, sounded like some food stuff I didn't actually read. Alright then. Let's keep on working. Uh, you see Battle Meal Mo Yeah, that's very good to pick up. Yes. And that's... Uh, Regular battle meal, meal, not multi pack. Cycle, etc. Some more caseless shotgun shells. We have the bandages, which is probably good. We have more caseless stuff, more weapons, a rifle. Cool. Let's actually also reload. Why don't I? Otherwise, we seem to be fine in here. So, caseless ammo. Not 100% sure how that is going to work. That is not a door. Okay, so we'll probably get into a fight very soon. Again, very difficult with Vasco just clomping around to actually be stealthy. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully this is going to be a sneak attack. I think it was. There we go. Get you down. Vasco takes a hit. Received. I don't care. There we go. No, you don't. Oh, um, go, go away. Uh, there is no cause for alarm in the vicinity. We're literally in danger, but sure, you say that. Uh, so, question, question. Did that count? Uh, so sneak attack, actually three sneak attacks, good. Alright then, so we're working on that, lovely. Now what are you? That's, oh hello. You're dead. What? They were right there. Are you, oh you are up top I believe. I see, I see. So you are up top, how can I utilize that I fact? So the AI in this game is as terrible as it has always been. Lovely. Good to know. And where are you going to move? I do seem uh, to not know where enemies are. That's a bit interesting. I can see where they are. I can see a pirate is... You are up there. That's fine. 
Don't necessarily think that you'll see me. What are you? That's so weird. All right, then. More dead scientists. Bunch of credits for me. Cool. Hopefully I can make the payment on my home. We'll see about that. More genetic sample bottles, which I still don't think that we need. Okay. I can see you now. I believe the enemy is nearby. Not hitting a lot. Not gonna lie. Oh crap, 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 crap. Peek up. There we go. Good job. Let's get out of here! No you don't. No you don't. No you don't. No you don't. There we go. Don't know if I got a sneak attack on that one. I think he actually saw me first, so... Okay. The credits, lovely. Quite a lot of credits. I mean, I have no idea what a lot of credits is in this game. And I also do see that I absolutely see where enemies are on my little compass to the bottom left there. So fair enough, I do have eyes on enemies. The things I'm gonna do when I find you! So you're up top as well. We have another computer. More stuff to read. So still from Hayden Wynn, now he is a senior xenobiologist. Uh, so this is a year later, well actually not a full year. Like half a year later. Oh, never mind, he was in um, United Colonies uh, space before, now he's arrived here, I think. So my staff and I just arrived this morning and I'm not surprised to find the facility completely operational. As usual, the United Colonies spared no expense, it's all very exciting. Inspirational, really, knowing you had the full support uh, of the decision makers. I have to admit, I was surprised to learn that the lab is closely guarded secret, located in the free store collective space, no less. But we go where the work takes us. Xeno warfare is the evolution of armed ground conflict. We know it, and the free store collective surely knows it as well. Forget what the calendar says, this is 1942 all over again. We may as well be the Manhattan Project, racing to create the game changer before the other side. So, to that effect, I'm overjoyed to officially announce Project Pet Shop. Phase 1 is a go. So what about the our arthropods? They are apparently, in a word, incredible. Calm, easy to work with, and they even allow themselves to be fitted with the NCIs without much trouble. Synchronization has thus far been nearly instantaneous, and the control fidelities remain in the 95-97% to range. They pass all the environmental survivability tests as well, hot, cold, low or no oxygen. I'm pretty sure these things could operate effectively in any environment. Most promising is how well they've already integrated with the Red Devils, who have joined us for a period of extended training. After all, they'll be leading the creatures into combat, so it's critical they establish a war bond. So yes indeed, the Red Devils, those are the ones that we have been fighting, I suppose. And we have a success. After months of testing on a variety of extraterrestrial species, I'm overjoyed to report that we have finally found a species that will serve as a backbone of the United Colonies Sea Warfare Division. The arthropods are everything we hope for and more. Imagine a pack of alien beasts suited to any terrain, capable of instantly obeying any command. I have designated these beasts obedient, obedientes pests. But we just call them stalkers. I think it may finally be time to crack open that bottle of Chateau Avignon 2170. So stalkers, that's gonna be a thing. And what about the Red Devils? The Red Devils' progress with the stalkers has been nothing less than amazing. Now I see why they're so highly regarded in the UC military circles. And all of the rah-rah bullshit you see with the regular grunts. These are focused professionals. After another week of training here in the pet shop, I'm confident that they'll be ready for a live test in the field. Michelson suggests uh, I I contact Colonel Kasarov and find out where his marines grabbed a spider from the early trials. He wants his comeuppance, but then it would make for a good trial. All right then, cool, cool, cool. Uh, medical sample tray. Nothing interesting. No. I need that bounty. I don't have a bounty. Who saw me? We ain't done yet. Who saw me? Well, actually, no one probably saw me. They saw Vasco. Bloody hell, Vasco. You're crapping my style. Okay, I'm Please just gonna... Oh, hello, hello, whoa, 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 whoa. You okay. might die. Well, that's true. So why don't you... 
go off all I have. There you go. Good job, Vasco. Do what you came to do. Yes, yes, yes. I don't care about you. I care about me. I care about me. There we go. Are you? Is that a thing? That's kind of cool if it is. Enemy damage registered. That's fine. Explosions all around. Okay, never mind. I don't have any more ammo for that gun. Uh, all right, then inventory. Let's go over. Not the cutter. Let's go over to the Eon. In Let's, combat, ooh, I have a there is a high likelihood now. of human death. That is uh, that is uh, an astute observation. Oh. Yes. Okay. Where did? Ooh, it's all the way over there. That's you know, lovely. Not worth it. Okay. There we go, you're dead. Lovely. All right, then. So I'm using a lot of ammo, that's true. But I have a lot of ammo for this now, apparently. So that's good. We have some good stuff here. Let's not pick up rescue access. I don't think that that's necessarily good. I'll leave weapons as well, I think. So for now, we are looking good. Uh, microscope, that's good. Weapons case. Uh, laser rifle, also cool. Uh, apparently, I am again over encumbered. Uh, how many do I have of, like, the weapons? I have... Do I actually have seven cutters? I don't think I need seven cutters. There we go. I don't think I need that many cutters. Uh, how does that work in this game, by the way? Um, I seem to have dropped... Not six of them, I seem to have dropped two of them. Not 100% sure how that works. Uh, anyway. Is that not anything? No, that apparently is nothing I'm interested in. Syringe. No, I don't care about that. Med pack, I do care about that. Some turkey. I'll take turkey. I'm not even going to bother going down and checking on the uh, on the pirate at the bottom. But actually, the Red Devils are not these people, are they? These are pirates, so no, those would not be the same. Um, Alright then, I'm going to keep going a little bit longer, just to sort of deal with this place. Pharmaceutical lab, what can I do with this? Is this like... Um, uh, what is it called? Chemical station from Fallout 4? I suppose so, yes, because I can make a bunch of stuff here. So, uh, with sealant and fiber, I can make bandages, I can make make immobilizers designed to provide reduced really support injured limbs. Bandages for afflictions, apparently. So, can do some of those, but alright, we have one of those. Good to know that that exists. Uh, good to know that that exists. Uh, disinfectant shower, I suppose. Through here. Listen up. We got someone trying to jump our score. Hold them off here while Brogan sets up on the roof. I'm on it. No one's getting through. On the roof, you say? Okay, well, someone's gonna be here. Where? Okay, I can see on the map that there's... Are you up top? Yes, you are all up top, actually. Do I want to engage you from here? I might. Wait, what is that? There we go. Get a few shots in on you. Back up. Let's go. Go. <laughs> oh, he dropped down. Good job. Heavy fire over here. Okay. I like that he sounds a bit Italian, that's kind of lovely. Um, okay. Let's just run up ahead. Duck you down. I see you up top there. Where Go did the, you also drop down? Uh, my head. Yes, your head. That's what I'm aiming at. She isn't worth it. Let's go. Okay. Oh, oh you boosted quite Peace high up. It's no longer a viable option. It never was. War was always the option. I am a bit injured. I am a bit injured. Let's just... Uh, I need to learn how to do this from the... <laughs> from a, a much faster thing uh, than this. But I can do... 
like some of this, right? Does that like immediately just help me? I think it might do. Possibly. Does it? I mean, it's only three, so obviously it wouldn't do much. Um, a battle meal. Carry capacity doesn't seem like something I should be doing right now. Is that a thing that I've stolen? I think it is. So we'll use that one. So there we go. There we go. You die. Level two. Cool. Uh, P to level up, but let's not bother with that right now. Where are people? I think they're all upstairs. You appear to be prioritizing our deaths over your own survival. Are you talking to me it or seems someone the else? Enemy has vanished. I mean, for now. Uh, that's okay. Let me see if we can just look around a bit before we engage them again. Anything fun here? I wouldn't mind picking up Enemy the microscope. Enemy activity in the area has ceased. I mean, not... Bloody hell, it's right here. You're mine. It's right here. There we go. And now he's dead. Oh, bloody hell. Why do they explode at the end there? It's like, is that their oxygen tank or something? Could be. Could be, could be. More microscopes. They are worth stuff. Uh, levitating desk uh, planet, also worth stuff. More bomb pops or boom pops. As well as some toxin. Good. So I'm starting to slowly identify the stuff that's, uh, you know, relevant to pick up, which is good. We'll get to the level up in just a second. Now we'll just look around a bit. Well, actually, you know what? P for leveling up. So I have a skill point, so I can choose to either increase what I already have, or I can choose, I suppose, something new. So would I like to... I think I would like to actually get um, pistol certification. More damage with pistols, yes. Uh, let's unlock that one. That seems like a good idea. And I might... don't exactly know... Probably gonna get that rank 4, actually, before I get down to here where there are. Demolitions incapacitation. That's an interesting thing. Render human beings unconscious. That sounds like something a stealthy character would Come do. Come yes. out. Are you all? So that was a th simple thing. Found you. No, I found you. I think I think you'll find. I'm in over my Shoot you in the butt. There we go. Uh, I think now, actually, that we are good to go. So let's just start to quickly look around. We apparently have to go up on the roof where I suppose some sort of... Oh, hello. Uh, claw marks there. Lovely. Yeah, some sort of um, boss is going to be up top. Oh, the clusters. Also a... But the Iron Team. Uh, Alright then, let's uh, keep looking at uh, Hayden Wynn here. So now we get into the Terror Morph. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, a fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrogeologists made first contact nearly a hundred years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There is currently no record of how it got there, so it was sheer cosmic chance that the astro astrogeologists found it. Rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it Okishio... I suppose, machina, or machina, roughly killing machine. The UC Marines tasked me with taking it down, uh, tasked with taking it down, shows a simpler name, Terror Morph. I read the official record once of the eight person squad, only two of the ground survived, and one of those lost, uh, one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno Warfare. He's very happy about people dying, I like it. Today we fit the, the Terror Morph with the NCI. If our experience when the grunts first drop off the creature is an in indication, our sedation will Window will be around 15 minutes. Will Baker better make them count? I don't think you did. Uh, some credits. Uh, it's memory loose. slate. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to 
call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist, wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Well, poor Hayden Wynn. I think you got what you deserve in the end. Uh, all right, then. So this leads further in. I hope I don't I'm have to fight the turret nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digipics and a disregard for personal property rights. Well, would you know what? I have both. That's perfect. Oh, crap. <laughs> damn it. Damn leech. Get away. Uh, boobar, boobar, and bandages. All right, so let's see how this looks then. So we use the digi pick. Fill in all open slots in the every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill the gaps. Each key can be used only once, or only be used once. All right, so new variant of a puzzle here. So what are you saying? Well, I can see that we need... All right, all right, all right. I think I understand the beginnings here. Uh, slot the key, so there we go. And now we need that one. Yes. Now we do that one. That goes down in here. And then we do that one. All right, so novice lock, obviously simple. But uh will be interesting to see how a tougher lock works. As we get some various stuff, can I? There we go. Take all. Thank you. So that was interesting. Uh, some shells and stuff like that. Grapes. That's very fancy. All right, then let's get over to the roof and presumably end this little thing. All right, we're not on the roof just yet. There is some stuff right before here. Get some med packs, some AMP. Oh, a bashing Grendel. Uh, we're just gonna take everything, I believe. Thank you. So, what is a, what is a bashing Grendel exactly? Uh, Grendel is a rifle, and now I have a bashing Grendel. So, if I equip that one. Bashing this double damage when gun back. Well, I don't care about that. I'm just gonna go for the basic gun for now, I think. Because I don't even know how much ammo I have for that. Uh, yeah. What is it that you are using? You are using. Seven. Well, actually, it is the same as the, the gun that I'm currently using, right? Yes. So I actually do have a bit of uh, ammo for it, but I'm going to be using a lot more if I use that weapon. And I have been uh, uh, leveling a bit of pistols, so let's try that instead. So, come out. Drop down. Are you going to want to talk to me? You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Well, I could try and lie to him, so that's very Fallout 3, or just attack. But yeah, what's up with you and Barrett? Do you by any chance know him? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Well, alright then. Why? So, uh, you know what? Let's just lie, let's see what they say about that. Oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. I don't think you will. I don't know if I'm very good at persuasion. I haven't taken the perk, but why don't I just try it? There might be a chance, actually. Let's try it. You're not talking us out of this score. I think, oh, well actually there seems to be something here. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words, to distraction, to threats. 
have they brought back the oblivion thing? Uh, each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance of the choice fails, but the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail it if your last choice succeeded. Uh, all right. Three turns. Oh. I was about to say, where the hell did the choices go? Uh, you have wrong constellation exploration group. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. Live, ask us program with advanced combat protocols and rip you and your crew to pieces. I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to try luck against me? I mean, that seems like a good choice, I think. Okay, so I need to get to four. So if I succeed with one of these, I'm just done. Why don't we try with a three? I'm not falling for that. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. Well, dag nabbit. All right, then. Fine, I just made it past your entire crew. What does this, that say about me, huh? So you got past a few rooks. Who cares? Well, all right, then. Ooh. Not too late to walk away from this, though. I'm not the one who needs to be worried about that. I've heard enough out of you. Kill them! Well, all right, then. I didn't succeed with that. That was it. Fair, I suppose. Return to the lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Okay. Cool. Not 100% sure what he was saying there. He said something. No mercy. Okay. That's no mercy, you say. Sure. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Now it's only Brogan left over there. He has a bit of armor or whatever. It is okay. a shame. Exploration requires so much. Let's get the high ground. We can get a really high ground. And start working on you. Oh. Are we being shot at by that's annoying. <laughs> That's very annoying. You have some sort of armor. Well. Significantly decreases one's life expectancy. Yes, you are correct in that. Let's actually get down because you can shoot at me from a lot of places here. Shouldn't be doing this, but I will. Hello, 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 hello. Shit often yells. Pew, there we pew, go. Pew. Pew pew pew, yes. Why. Pew pew pew, I agree. Why are you not going down? Am I also over encumbered? Well, that's not good. I'm taking you down! Am I over encumbered? I shouldn't be, should I? Ah! Why are you ah! having so much armor? Because <laughs> I think that that's what's going on. Vasco, help me, please. There we go, that's a good damage as well. I think if I just take you out, it would be good. There we go. Get you down. Bloody hell, you have a lot of... Damn it. There we go. Thank you, Vasco. You probably need to kill more people. I can't use fast travel to ship. Did you... Yeah, I think you actually... No, no, no. You are still here. You're still here. All right, then. Well, I'm going to get uh, the stuff. I am also gonna start dropping some things. We are soon done with the episode. Bloody hell, bloody hell this went on for a while, didn't it? Uh, so I have a lot of stuff that are... Let's actually sort again by value. The rip shanks. We can get rid of the rip shanks. I'll keep the cutter. It's a good weapon to have that actually doesn't... Uh, need to be reloaded. Uh, Grendel's... I mean, a lot of these are worth a lot. I'll get rid of two of you. And I should get rid of all of you. Maybe I should have got rid of some trash instead, but whatever. So there you go. Uh, let's pick up some good stuff here. A raiding pack. These Got criminals it. really should be incarcerated. Pirate assault helmet. I'll take it. Casual here as well. Oh, hello. They just left their friends behind. That's not friendly, is it? I suppose it's the pirate code or something. You are very far away, though. All right. What just happened? What? What just happened? <laughs> All right. I'll. I'll. Uh, mm. 
take some I'll take some med packs yes uh take you take you thank you uh, actually med, med or rather health stuff works in uh, like in fallout 4 i see that how can i get closer to them so do you want to kill these bastards they're shooting at me how far away are you okay <laughs> forgot about the gravity Forgot about the gravity. Hey. Okay, so, nope, get up. There's a lot of pirates, though. There we go. Shoot at you. I am not hitting them. You know what? Screw this. If I can tra fast travel to my ship, I'm just gonna do it. Well, I couldn't uh, find the way. I thought it was F, but obviously F is flashlight, so. How do I get back? Uh, well, what I have to do then is just kill these bastards before we end the episode. Let me just... Uh, wee, hopefully no fall damage. Thank you. So let's just start uh, making... Our, you're so far away, I need to get down. Uh, no, Very low gravity. Feels like I should be able to do that, yes, without too much problem. Uh, let's just get up here. There we go. So now we can start doing some good damage. Vasco is here. Okay, you're doing some damage, but... Please, avoid getting shot. You might die. But I know, but I'm really far away. <laughs> I need to get closer. Repair. Protocol. Required. There we go. There we go. Get some shots in the head. There we go. There we go. Nice crew. There. Okay, you wanna... No, you're not gonna keep the pin. Oh, crap. Okay, so you just ran up to me. That's stupid. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Do it again. There we go. It's just, just me, I promise. Okay, do that. Actually, we do need to heal a little bit. I need to figure out how to do this quickly. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn before the next episode. Oh, oh crap, I used too many. Well, actually, I can use that, I suppose. Oh. There we go. Thank you. It's getting very dark. Hello. Hello. I'm just gonna kill you. There we go. Dead. Fine. Thank you. All right, then. Ooh, cargo here. Lovely. Headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Well, that's good. Uh, all right, then. The reading pack. And apparently I'm over in comfort again. Bloody hell. Before I end everything, uh, miscellaneous. Uh, again, sort value. Uh, can't remove these. I will drop that one. There we go. Done. So now we can get back to the ship. Lovely. All right, then. Well, we've done this. I actually, in some ways, don't want to get back to the ship because, there, after all, there are things on this little moon that we can locate. But I'm also thinking early in the game, we still have stuff to unlock, like plot stuff. So I'm thinking that I want to keep going with the main plot. Ooh, why is I'm going to keep going with the main plot in order to make sure that I unlock all the things that I need to unlock in order to be as effective as I possibly can be. So, uh, yes, we're going back to the ship. We're, we're doing what the robot tells us to do, basically. And uh, after a while, I suppose we'll start being a little bit more exploration-y. So uh, that is going to come in the next episode. For now, though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.